Hey everybody, Jamie here, coming to you with another video from uh, the desert out in Arizona. Uh, those of you that uh, know me know that for about five years now I've lived in my van and one of the, here it is, one of the amenities that makes a big difference in quality of life in your van is having access to power. And so I've got some solar panels up on the roof of my uh, van for powering my electronics. I was recently approached by a company that uh, sent me a small solar panel, a soft pack solar panel to check out and see what I thought about it and to review it. And so I had two questions that came to my, to my mind when uh, I considered this. The first one was, what would I or anybody need with a little 25 watt solar panel that folds up and fits in your pocket or your backpack or your purse or whatever? And the second question is, <laughs> if you send it out here, is it gonna work? So let's go ahead and address both of those things right now. Uh, in my case, I've got the big panels for when I'm in the van, but if I was on the trail on my motorcycle, and wanted to power my GoPro cell phone because I'm playing music out of my uh, off my phone when I'm out when I was in Moab over the summer I used my cell phone to power my music and I also had a little GoPro on my helmet so I could film stuff well how could I power stuff like that uh, on the go say you're even on a bicycle a little solar panel would do both those things and another thing that I thought would be neat about one of these little solar panels is if you had one and it worked, when you go to a coffee shop and there's a place to sit but there's no outlet right there, you could sit and orient yourself in such a way where you could put the panels through the window to the sun and you'd be able to power, say, your tablet or your phone and get power that way too. So I think there's a lot of uses for these little solar panels. The second question is, how do they work? Well, I know that the one that it was sent to me works because I tried it about a week ago and it was cloudy. And today, it's not cloudy. I'll give you a little panoramic view and you can see it's clear sky. But I can tell you from testing it before I was to make this video on the cloudy day that, that uh, I tested it on, I was able to charge my Samsung Galaxy phone uh, with no problem. So with all that, let's take a look at the unit and let's see it in action and let's see some of the stuff that it'll charge. So here's the unit. Any attempt I make at pronouncing this, I know is going to be off, so this is what it's called, and I'll put a link down in the description to uh, an Amazon link if you want to pick one of these up. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. So it's a, it's a little pocket thing you can carry. It comes with a zip back. Open this up, and there are, there's a user's manual. There's two, I don't know if you can see this, but there's two, two USB ports right here. So you can plug in two things at the same time. And it comes with these carabiners. So we open it up and it has these loops. So you can take the carabiners and the loops and for instance, you could put this on your backpack or you could put it on the back of your motorcycle or whatever it is that you're traveling with if you're on foot whatever and you're charging your phone you're listening to your iPod all day or your tablet uh, on the go without having to worry about having a battery or an expensive uh, system like mine the system that I have is like 1800 bucks maybe two thousand dollars this can be had for right around fifty dollars I believe it's a little less than that right now and if you're just starting out, if you whether you need this for in the city for the reasons that you would need it, or if you're looking to start out living in a van and you just want to be able to power your small handheld electronics on the go, this will do it. And I'm going to show you that it'll do it because <laughs> this is a showing video. It's not a talking about a video. So I'm going to show you it doing it. So let's get, get it going. Now, ideally, you're going to want to point the panels 
as much directly facing the sun as possible. So in this case, it's January in you know uh, Arizona, so the sun doesn't go up very high. This would give you the absolute most power. But let's just say we're not in the optimum situation. And so it's just there. Let's plug it in to my, this is my Samsung Galaxy phone. There's a red light showing that it's putting out power on the inside of this. Got all the panels going. Let's plug in my phone. So right now my phone is halfway charged. I'm gonna plug it in. I get the little uh, lightning bolt showing that it's charging. And I'm at 49%. It's 354 and it's at 49%. And here's something else that I just want to point out. If this phone isn't getting a good uh, connection to a strong USB, some of the USB power outputs are uh, not as strong as others with their uh, power output, I'll get a message that says if you want to charge this phone faster, use uh, the, the right port or the right cord and it's not saying that. So it's cool with what's happening, and it's cool with the fact that we're not even pointing this thing at the sun. So I'm legit, now I'm at 50% right now. So we're not gonna wait for it to go all the way to 100%. I just want you to see that it's not uh, a crazy slow charge, and I'm not even pointing this thing at the sun. Now let's say I wanna point it at the sun. How big of a job is it? Because it's a soft panel. It's as big a job as, I can find a couple of rocks here and just just that right there is gonna make it able to put out more power to charge the phone faster so we're at 51% it's charging I'm happy, it's working. I can walk away and leave it like this, come back. My, now it's at 52%. I could be doing this in the dashboard of my car if I just lived in my car. Uh, you could uh, do this instead of using a, a cigarette lighter, which drains the cold cranking amps battery. Your car starting battery is not really made to charge things if the car is not running. So that's not a healthy thing for that battery, but this makes up for it. So you could charge stuff with this instead. So let's take a look at where we're at so far. It's 431 and the Samsung phone, the smartphone's at 83%. And I now have the proprietary cord for the Samsung Sung tablet. I'm gonna see if I can plug them both in at the same time. There's two outlets here and I know that they're both kind of power hungry, so I wouldn't be surprised if the solar panel can't handle it, but we'll, we'll just try it and just see, kind of see where we fall with this uh, portable panel. It's not coming up, so let's try it. If I unplug the phone, let's see what we get. Okay, so now we've plugged in the tablet. I unplugged the the phone and the tablet's charging and this tablet only likes a lot of juice to, ta to charge. This tablet will only charge with all of my inside solar USB ports on a 2.4 amp output and it's charging on this one right now. So I'm pretty impressed with how well this, this uh, 25 watt portable solar panel is able to charge. Now let's get greedy and see if we can plug the phone in and charge it at the same time. I very seriously doubt it'll do both, but we'll try it. Is it just a USB charger or does it have a, a 120 outlet? It's just USB. Just USB. If you can plug this into this same brand portable battery mm. and charge that battery all day with a built-in inverter and then be able to sit in your van at night and run things off of that battery that, that you used. That would be cool. Especially if it had a 110 on it, so you yeah. could use a laptop, an incorporated laptop. Okay, so with 
both of these plugged in. This little tablet only will do 2.4 amps in my van to charge, and it's charging, so I'm getting 2.4 amps output, and I'm charging my Samsung phone too, which is showing 83% now. So I don't know if you could really ask any more out of a 25 uh, watt solar panel than that. So I'm super impressed with, with what this thing is able to do, and I would give it my stamp of approval. So if you need something like this, if you're just starting out on the road and uh, need a way to create power, this would be a great option for you. Remember, if you're using your cigarette lighter and you're just pulling energy off your car battery, that car battery isn't a deep cycle battery, so it's not meant to be drained down over and over again. That cigarette lighter is really only intended to be used when the vehicle's in motion, so you're gonna shorten the life of your battery if you're leaning on that thing too much. So this is a great option for a, an alternative to that. So hopefully this helps you guys out, and uh, we'll see you on the next upload. Thanks a lot, see ya. I'm gonna just leave this on and let it charge. society, you're a crazy breed.